I want to speak to the Wiz. I think it would be great. <laughs> Come on in. <laughs> T-Mobile, oh, T-Mobile today. <laughs> T-Mobile. I get a call. They're like, hey, Zach, this one's only Donald. <laughs> <laughs> Don't you carry nothing. That might be a load. Come on, T-Mobile, T-Mobile, down the road. Hi, I'm Zach Braff, and I'm reading for the part of Guy in T-Mobile commercial. Hi, I'm Donald Faison. I'm reading for the part of other guy in the T-Mobile commercial. I'm Andrew Panay, CEO of Panay Films. I'm Mike Katz, President of Marketing, Strategy, and Products at T-Mobile. I'm Brian Klugman. I am uh, lead creative at Panay Films. I am also the voice of T-Mobile. More bars in more places. It's better over here. We've had a long partnership for over the last five or six years with Panay Films. They work really closely with us deeply understanding our core strategy. What it is we're trying to accomplish, what commercial results we're trying to drive, what the tone of our brand is. We are punchy and aggressive, but with a smile. We understand what it is they need to break through to the consumer in order for the consumer to want to buy the product. So we do not just go off and just start making funnies. We actually are incorporating what T-Mobile strategy wants inside the commercial. I've got home internet from T-Mobile. It only costs 30 bucks at T-Mobile. What inspired us to make musical ads? About 10 days before Super Bowl, T-Mobile added another spot to the lineup and had asked Brian and I to come up with something that we thought was innovative and fun. And Brian and I were actually sitting on the sofa and I said, I feel pretty, so pretty, and I started to sing. We were talking about home internet and quality of internet and I was saying, I feel glitchy. I feel glitchy and Andrew started singing, I feel glitchy. And then Brian started singing back and immediately we started writing lyrics. The first step is really choosing like songs that are like lyrically friendly. Stephen Sondheim had just passed and the Sondheim estate wasn't like really down to give out West Side Story. And ironically, I was able to write a letter to the estate that my uncle had done the original cast of Gypsy. He always said that working with Stephen Sondheim was something that was very memorable for him in his career. So I was able to write this letter about the story he had told me about Stephen. And I said, basically, if you let us have the rights to this song, it will be treated with reverence and respect and humor, but not poking fun at it. That enabled them to give us the rights. How we come up with the lyrics is kind of a process of like just throwing out the worst ideas to the best ideas. And the actual writing of the songs is very like fast for me. Like when it happens, it's like, I don't have anything, I don't have anything, I don't have anything. Boom. I'm defeated, feel mistreated. I'm so angry, I'm singing a song. Cause I'm paying so much for home internet and that's just wrong. I've got T-Mobile home internet. Zach and Donald were the right people because they've got such a unique and very obvious chemistry. We did Scrubs for 10 years together and this kind of brings it all back. What we loved about it was being silly with each other and laughing and also riffing. One, one thing that's so unique about this T-Mobile partnership is that they allow us to play and they want us to riff and we really feel like we're a part of it. It's a collaborative thing. They're close with Andrew, Brian, and Nate. They've known them for decades and done a lot of work with them. So there's a lot of personal relationship and trust there. But they really care about what they're doing. They come to play because they love it and we get to work with them regardless if it's gonna land or not. They wanna do it. Have yourself a merry little Christmas. Let your heart be light. My favorite memory is obviously the Christmas commercial that we did. My favorite one is Love Actually. And I think because we had so much to do with that one. Last year during our holiday campaign, we built a script for a spot that was kind of a riff off the Christmas story, if you remember it. But while they were there on set, they with Brian started riffing on, what if we did something kind of like the Love Actually movie? And then Brian Klugman asked the PA to go get cards and within an hour they were making the cards. And then when we wrapped the other commercial that we were actually making, in one take, we shot the spec ad version of it. And then we went back and refilmed it again just to punch it up. I would argue that the spot before the spot was as good as what ended up airing when we shot it a month later. The only difference was messaging and we put snow down. A lot of the stuff that we end up doing in our spots is ad-libbed. We'll have a script, but then some of the concepts that we've had and some of the ads that we've done have been totally off script, or we've done a second spot based off of a, a riff that these that these guys do. Home internet, what a pain in the... Hey, neighbor! Try T-Mobile, it sets up so fast. 
The Super Bowl spot that was the most viewed after the Super Bowl through all the social channels and through YouTube was the spot with John Travolta, the summer night spot. Donald and I both love singing and performing and musicals. So the idea that we were singing and dancing with Travolta was such a surreal thing. When that concept first came up, it was just us singing and dancing with Grease, which was funny enough. And then Mike and Andrew and Brian added Travolta himself. <laughs> when John Travolta showed up to set for the first day, watching Donald fan on Travolta was one of the another great moment. I mean, I knew he was famous and everything like that, but I didn't realize how famous he was. What? Because, listen, after that, famous actors who have worked with other famous actors were like, what was it like to work with Travolta though? When we were doing the spot with Travolta to Greece, one of the nonsense lines was like, if you do, I'm a big fan of cheese, but we changed it at the last second to Brie because John was like, Brie is funny because it's like, it's double entendre. It could be a person, it could be the cheese. Stream a class, learn to make cheese. But if you do, I'm a big fan of Brie. I got you. The response on the campaign has been absolutely incredible. You always hope that the audience is seeing what you're seeing when you're creating. It's definitely overperformed in, in the best way, mainly because Zach and Donald are spectacular humans great partners and they are embodying the brand. At the end of the day, we are making these commercials to drive business impact. That's one of the reasons you've seen us continue to use Zach and Donald in a now almost two year campaign. So it's one of those things that was big in the moment on the Super Bowl, but it's had a life of its own after the Super Bowl. T-Mobile home internet seems too good to be true. That's what T-Mobile can